Chris, uh, uh, how do we improve mitochondrial function apart from low deuterium water, which is very expensive? Yeah, look, I know. Don't have to tell me. I'm well aware of that. Well, bacon has the lowest in terms of long chain fats. Um, it's down to, like, bacon's about, you know, the 113 parts per million, and pork's 115. I still don't get it. How bacon, it, it may be that part of where the bacon comes from the body is lower. Tallow um, is about 120 to 122. Uh, 120 if it's grass-fed, it can be 119. 122 to 123 if it's grain-fed and finished. Um, then you've got... It can vary from place to place as well. There are, there are other factors. I mean, th these are just rubbery figures, approximates. But really, uh, you know, for, as long as we keep below the 130, over time we will improve. But the lower the threshold of deuterium, the better. So you will be able to restore oxidative phosphorylation and improve it. The other thing is we definitely do do the taurine part because one, the taurine helps with reducing reactive oxygen species and damage inside the mitochondria. It also improves the folding of proteins. So it means that these enzymatic pathways work better because protein folding is very important for proper um, you know, enzymatic functions. Because remember, there's a whole lot of enzymatic process, steps, catalytic processes, you know, um, that are happening in these different parts of the mitochondria, um, the different steps from, you know, right through from either glycolysis or um, lipolysis right down to the Krebs cycle, there is a whole lot of enzymatic steps. And so they need to be working properly, efficiently as well. Um, you know, obviously, you need the efficiency. The other nice thing about the when it comes to taurine, it improves the Krebs cycle roughly. Look, this is rubbery figures. You know, it can uh, cut from ten to thirty percent the efficiency. The other nice thing about it is it reduces reactive oxygen species via complex one. So one, it clears out sugar much faster out of the system. Um, it prevents it going into lactate, pushes it in the, into the Krebs cycle, uh, pushes it through um, and uh, to be oxidised way more efficiently. So it's got these advantages. It's, that's why it's better than metformin um, in what it does uh, without the side effects. But uh, it also repairs a lot of this damage that happens from reactive oxygen species. It also, in the evening, that's why I take a bit in the evening, it, it lowers cortisol levels um, and it amplifies melatonin. Obviously, blue light can be an issue in the evening that can actually raise um, cortisol as well. So that can actually counteract some of the taurine effects. So blue light blocking some level of that is important as well. So there are it's multifactorial, multi Multiple, multiple factors that are at play for mitochondrial function. It's not just one thing. Deuterium is, I would say, at the heart of it. Because really, basically, what is food? Food gets broken down, basically, and stripped, and you combine it with, you know, you, you, um, the carbons, you combine those and just breathe them out as carbon dioxide. You know, you take in the hydrogen ions and use the protons and the electrons through the electron chain in this uh, you know quantum machine to produce energy atp so fundamentally what we're doing is we're stripping away so you know we want to reduce the amount of neutrons that go in there that can bust those motors because really that's what it is you know more deuterium and through the krebs cycle if you can't deteriorate remove those h2s and push them back into the cytosol, which reverse actually pulls them back into the mitochondria um, and increases the damage and the pushing up of the growth factors. Um, so really, we need to work very hard at um, lowering. And 
look, I wish there was options with deuterium depleted water. It was cheaper. It is damn expensive. I, I agree with you. It is really prohibitive for most people. I just recommend it for people, you know, that have got cancer and stuff like that. I say, well, you know, you've got heaps of money. You know, if I, you know, even myself, I've, you know, I'm, I usually use AVN water. So for my coffees, well, this is milk, but, you know, for my coffees, when I do coffees, I use the Evian water. Um, so that's E-V-I-A-N. It's an alpine water that comes. Um, it's a bit, you know, a bit like the Italian Pellegrino. Uh, that has 149 parts per million. Some places it can be down 148. Uh, the Evian is about 146. And tap water is 155. Sugar is 155 um, or slightly below that or slightly above that, you know, so you get up, up to 160. And seed oils can be up to 255. So that's just massive. Beyond the safe zone is 130. So 130. This is why I say hydrate with fat, not with water. Um, no tribal people do. They don't carry water. They're not idiots. They've upregulated their antidiuretic hormones by being fat adapted um so that's the fundamental difference so when you when you utilize fat as your primary energy and water production you will over time improve your mitochondrial function and efficiency but it takes time unfortunately you know you know so look carnitine helps a lot of things in animal you know a lot of different you know, amino acids and all that have antioxidant effects. A lot of the, you know, in there, I mean, even, you know, just think of pimples and um, uh, sort of acne and stuff like that, lysine, you know, you get cream, you put that on and sorts it out. So, you know, a lot of the amino acids, they do have a lot of different benefits in the body as well in that regard. But fundamentally... Um, you know, you can put some of this sort of stuff in, you can put taurine in to help, you know, repair over time and stuff like that. But really fundamentally, the the most best approach is not to put the stuff in that does the damage, you know. So really, it's really to lower the amount of deuterium-loaded foods. So the less sugar, the less, especially seed oils should not be in the diet. You know, that is mitochondrial poison you know simple as that at the deuterium levels that it is you, you you can forget it the body can't deteriorate can't lower the deuterium threshold it's way too high so once you're actually over 160 it's really becoming difficult and as you get older your efficiency drops your energy capacity to generate energy to heal and so your threshold of mitochondrial um tolerance or ability to de uh, to remove deuterium re reduces so the older you get the more stricter you have to be the cleaner you have to keep the diet if you want to maintain good mitochondrial function in old age and age gracefully and uh, with a lot of energy compared to a lot of what older people now are doing they can't even get off their their bum you know they literally have to be held up from their seat it's pretty bad um out there